Okay, this question is from No Identity Free Five. You say that you're having trouble transitioning from a smaller field to a bigger field. You feel like you're making less of an impact than you do on, compared to a 5v5, 6v6 game. You want to know what are some ways that you could maybe improve this. The first thing that comes to mind that there are three things that you might want to spend more time doing or some things that might help, right? So the first is, the first is asking the coach some question, right? It's like, not only do you know, you have to know your team's formation and some coaches might not, not actually know. So this, this might actually, um, you know, this might help or might not. You, you want to ask your coach, what does, what's our defensive shape and what's our offensive shape? of positions on the field right because if you know what your team looks like what your team's supposed to look like defensively and you know what your team's supposed to look like offensively then you'll know when to break the rules or you'll know when to cheat in some areas like it's like being able to know where you are is helpful but then you could start to understand where you are where your teammates should be right and this is like taking your soccer IQ to the next level because once you understand where everyone sh should be or could be, it'll just allow you to see the field differently. So that's that's one idea, and you know this really changed my ability. It it completely transformed my ability to change the game because now I like before I asked my coach that question. He like just took, it took two, not even two minutes for him to draw my positioning and like my flight patterns. Like generally where I should be on the field when I'm attacking and generally where I should be on the field when I'm defending. And for those reasons, right, like that quick drawing he showed me, it completely unlocked, like it unlocked me as a player on our team. And I was 10 times more effective. So, you know, that's a great question to ask your coach. The second, you know, besides that, there are some fundamentals that you want to understand. The first is that, that when you're defending, when your team's defending, you want to, you know, conso like consolidate. You want to shift back towards your goal and you want to, um, it's like you want to compress, right? We know, uh, know the word compress, compresses, um, right, come together. So you want to like come together and shift towards your goal when you're attacking. You want to open up, right? Expand, open up attacking line, oh, open up attacking lanes, open up passing lanes. Hold on one second. There's a truck. There's one more truck. So that's that's a good to know fundamentals. Right, the coach explained that to us at ODP camp, this simple concept, and it's stuck with me ever since. This is regional ODP camp up in, uh, I wanna say New York or something. Anyway, um, another thing that's, you know, it, it actually could be a, three, a third or a fourth thing, and that is um, every soccer player has to do what well. All soccer players have to juggle, dribble, pass and shoot so and I actually think the most effective thing out of all those is juggling right they say that not all the best not all the best players I'm sorry not all the best jugglers are the best players but all the best players are always the best jugglers right and juggling improves passing and improves shooting it's like the one thing that if you worked most of your spend most of your time on it would improve everything else Um, so I think, you know, juggling, just starting the habit of juggling different sized balls. There's a quote that goes, um, that you got diamonds in your backyard, but you, you might have diamonds in your own home. Think about, do you have any balls in your house that you're not spending time juggling? Tennis balls, um, volleyballs, basketballs, you know, <laughs> Every single dog toy, right? Dog toy, friggin' even an American football, right? You want to start to get a sack together of different size balls because smaller balls will improve your precision. Larger balls 
will improve your power. And when you kind of contrast between light and heavy, you're gonna to start to sharpen your touch. The sharper your touch, the more dangerous you're gonna be on the field. Um, if you're not spending a few minutes a day doing ball mastery, right? Cover, Cover, C-O-E-R, V-E-R, they got a simple app. Or if you like technology, if you're someone who likes using games as tools for learning, that dribble up ball seems seems quite popular. The kids are having some getting better with that. So that's a tool you might want to check out. There's this kid on Instagram. His name is uh, Fanta Sista Mickey. F A N T A, right? F A N T A. Fanta Sista S I S T A Mickey. M I C K E Y. Check him out. His dribbling skills are phenomenal. And he's, you know, this tiny kid. So you could start to emulate some of his dribbling sequences and it's gonna elevate your game. Just br break them down video by video and just start copying them, right? And the last thing I can think of is, you know, I've been encouraging players to take soccer vacations. All that means is you bring a, a, you bring a ball with you everywhere you go. You could also invest in a kick trainer. A kick trainer is just a ball and a rope. Um, and right you could cram thousands of train you know thousands of touches in a few you know in like 15 minutes you could get a thousand touches effortlessly right you could cram months of training into day days or weeks with a ball and a rope so that's something that you could make yourself with some rope and a, and a size one ball or there's a great one online it's around 25 bucks called an sklz solo kick trainer that's probably the cheapest one i found online all right so start start with some of those options um if you want to take another go down another rabbit hole there's a podcast right that's starting to talk about performance per performance physical performance um that is really worth your time it completely changed it completely changed my life and um it's called uh, Andrew Huberman and Tim Ferriss uh, podcast, um, and that's what I'm on right now. This this training training protocol. So this will help you um, improve your physical performance, just so you can comp compete against you know players who are faster. Right? You want to re really increase your endurance and your strength, and you know your VO2 max, and kind of start to branch out into under learning different training concepts. So. Um, I think this is something that you, is, uh, that you should definitely check out if you want to grow your game. So hopefully some of these ideas help and uh, reach out with any questions. All right, thank you.